Some people might find this video a little bit boring, but here I'm going to show a um, RMC control panel and a nice little pull focus there. Um, you're using um, running ATM, controlling ATM. Um, but this time we're going to talk about um, tallies. Um, now this um, particular box you're looking at here is a um, uh, a tally controller. Uh, if I pick up the back here, you'll see it's um it's got um, tally in um, that uh, it connects to the actual uh, RMC controller and um, I'm going to focus there. Um, here is um, here is an RMC controller. You can see at the back here um, that big long connector is the um, 25 pin that goes out to the tally box and um, so that connector there goes to that connector there the top nine pin connector which is that one there um, that is for a second RMC control panel which I will show you in a later video um, how uh, you can use two of these control panels one to control ME1 and one to control ME2 um, and then you can have two of these up here I'm still waiting for my second one to turn up seems there's a bit of a demand on them at the moment um, so uh, on this side of the panel you see let's move it out of the way here for a moment that connector there is goes to the first panel and as you can see over here uh, you probably can't because it's very busy um, that's going off to the RMC control panel and um, um, then um, that's obviously the network connector that goes to the network with the ATEM on it USB in uh, for firmware updates you can also power just the controller box um, you've got um, 9 volt in even though this panel uh, comes with a 12 volt converter it runs on 9 volts they don't tell you that but it, uh, it does and um, that's uh, looping out DC which then can go and control uh, goes into the uh, rear of the RMC panel and um, so you just need the one power supply can run both the um, controller and the panel and it also um, on the on the other side here that um, little nine pin oh sorry six pin din, uh, mini din goes out to the um, optional seven inch touchscreen um, which um, I haven't got that enabled. Um, it's the 7-inch um, touchscreen, uh, which also uses takes the 9 volts that's feeding the controller and the panel. Um, but anyhow, what I'm going to show you here today very quickly is how to um, set the tallies um, on either if you use this controller box um, or you can make your own box, which plugs into this uh, connector. Now this, um, this connector uh, has 25 pins of which 23 pins are programmable, fully programmable uh, and then pins 24 and 25 are just plus volts, plus 5 volts and ground to power um, this, this particular box here. Now I'll quickly tell you about this box. Um, I will be making these um, for people who just want to buy the complete unit. I've just temporarily just got um, 16 LEDs um, connected. Now this box has 16 relays in it, um, and you can actually hear them um, click. There they go. There you can see them clicking. That's program row and preview row. There I'll just um, so you can then connect anything you want to these um, relay closing or changeover contacts. So you've got 16, so you can run them out on wires to um, whatever you want to use with your tallies, if you want under, under monitor tallies or um, camera tallies or whatever, they, um, they will give you that. Um, 
uh, capability. I've just got reds as programs, yellows as previews. Um, and it's got um, seven buttons um, which can be allocated, programmed to control any function at all on the ATEM. Uh, meaning you can use it to use them to control uh, macros or just to cross points or the favorite that everybody likes is just a button to, to send the auto trans um, and um, the, the the relays themselves are all um, isolated opto isolated so you can connect any volts you want to these changeover pins it doesn't affect any of the um, the sensitive data and um, and on the on the rear, um, there is a um, nine pin, which is the gives you remote control of these seven buttons here, uh, and they're all uh, opto isolated, so that um, uh, you can connect any volts at all in here. So if you have a, a switch that switches 12 volts to ground. Uh, it will trigger the uh, these without affecting any of the sensitive data. Again, now this this whole box um, is is big because it's got those 16 relays in there, um, and it's it's heavy because relays are made of chunks of metal and magnets and things like that. Um, so um, just very quickly, um, I just want to show you um, first of all. Uh, as per a, a previous video, I actually have allocated um, the background button here. Let's go there. Um, I've got that allocated as um, um, what's it called? Um, uh, still store. Well, sorry, not still store. Um, uh, incidentally, the still store. But next video I do is on the still store, where you can actually use this button and these uh, program preview rows to. Um, um, to generate a um, um, uh, or to, to switch between different stills on both media player one and media player two more about that later but um, on the on the background button I've got it allocated the cross point allocated as uh, super source and if you see super sources on line up there now which has got a, for just a four-way split and then if you have a look at the tally box at the moment um, you can see all four tallies are on because they're the sources that are actually on um, on the still store. So if I just go back to say um, button number one, you'll see that it'll go to um, tally number two because it's number two button. So black is number one button. And of course, if black isn't not allocated to anything, um, it will uh, it won't show a tally because it's not allocated to anything. Um, now on the uh, on the actual controller unit. I'm getting into the nitty gritty of things now. On the controller unit, uh, we we can just any time press the um, um, the rotary knob button. It'll go into configuration, and um, we're now going to scroll all the way down to um, th these things. These labels are changing as the pro as the um, as the development continues. In the last video this was shown as tally but it's actually now set IO pins because we're setting the um, the control pins on this 25 pin connector. So there's actually 23 uh, selections on this which I will quickly scroll through now. Um, so now we're in the uh, set IO pins so um, as I, uh, I push the button to enter into this mode and um, you'll see now it's telling me that we've selected the first pin, number one, and it tells you what it's got allocated to it, and it says it's allocated to program tally number one. And what it does for confirmation is if, if you've got it, it's tallies connected, uh, it actually tells you, shows you what's, what particular, what is IO pin number one. Uh, and as I turn the knob, see how this is now pin number two, pin number three and in the background you can probably hear the tally relays going as I turn the knobs so it's actually just giving you confirmation of what particular um, pin you have selected um, as um, I've got this in what I call the default mode for this tally box which is the first eight pins are programmed to uh, tallies um, one to tallies one to eight one to eight 
and then um, pin 9 is preview tallies 1, 2, 8 and as I'm turning the knob you can see them switching there um, as I uh, get to pin 16 which is the last of the um, tallies uh, pin 17 I've got programmed as a GPI trigger number 1 now if you remember I told you a little earlier that uh, we have seven, seven um, pins allocated to GPIs if you want you can have them allocated to anything but in this case I've got um, GPI uh, trigger one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So these are these are these um, triggers here. Let's tell you what these pins do. So pin 17 um, of the of the 25 pin connector has uh, set as an input as a trigger. Um, the actual allocations of these triggers uh, is it will be done in a separate video because that's just a different configuration. Um, so you can see pins all the way up to 23. Or Alicar can't go past you can't go past that. That's the last pin. So I've got the seven GPI triggers. Um, now, if I just go all the way back to um, pin number one. So pin number one, and as I said, it's allocated to um, program tally number one. Um, now, um, if I want to change uh, that that allocation. Um, I just push the button once and you can see now the little uh, indicator telling us we're in adjust mode. Now I can turn the knob and change it to any pin, uh, sorry any tally that I want. So pin 1, now I'm telling it which, um, which tally it's going to be. So, um, so um, we can, we can um, change it that way. Now, um, to change the actual function of the pin, um, we just go back into program mode, into um, select mode again. Um, now, without turning the knob, if I push the button, it will then give me the ability to set that pin as a preview tally. Uh, if I push it again, uh, it has uh, the ability to use that pin as a data pin. Now, I'll talk about that a little bit later on. Uh, it's a little bit complicated, but because the um, the full tally controls at this 25 pin connector um, uh, actual direct um, data bus uh, outputs or programmable outputs of the controller in here I can actually also use these pins to do many other functions besides just um, receive um, GPI or send out a tally I can also use it to do like serial communications um, be part of a, um, a XY matrix to do things but that's all for future so you don't really worry about that for the moment um, and then of course you can give it a, a number what you want the um, data pin to be more on that later uh, push the button again uh, we can now set it as a GPI trigger uh, push the button again we can set it as unallocated meaning it's not being used but in this case we want to set that as um, program tally and I want it to be program tally number one there you go program tally number one and hit enter it now comes out of adjust mode because we're not got the little flashing thing and then once um, once all that's set up uh, we can then um, hold the finger down on the button for a second and then we come out now I just want to quickly show you once we've done set up the tallies and as I say you can make any pin do anything it'd be any one of those four categories um, so let's just go down to um, just here we're going to set program across points I'm just going to quickly change um, say the black button I'm going to I'm going to put it on to input one oh no I've got to hit the button first and change that to so we're now in adjust mode we're now going to go to um, now input one on this um, ATEM is actually the because it's a 2ME um, 2ME um, older ATEM input one is a either an HDMI or a um, SDI input I've got it as HDMI input at the moment and I called it computer because I run a HDMI out into um, that connector this computer so if I want to just make button one instead of black I want to make it that computer set it to computer hit enter 
and then we're going to come out of we don't have to come out of um, um, the configuration mode but I just wanted to just get back to this screen here so now if I select black well just reconnecting um, if I select uh, now if I select black on the button here um, you'll see it actually says it's on computer and it's button number one and if you have a look on the ATEM you can actually see where I've got that allocated it's on computer there now, interestingly enough you now see that tally number one comes on because it's button number one button number one up here is tally number one down here so the tallies will always um, follow whatever input you've got now when I say that I say on button number one here I've actually got, if I show you the ATM when I select number one, it's actually not on button number one on the ATM, it's actually on, it's, I've got it configured to switch to input five, and in, input five here I've just got as a, um, as just a, an output of a set-top box, um, and as I switch between them, um, you can see it's just switching, the four, I've got four set-top boxes. Um, so, that particular input up there is saying um, that is now allocated to button number uh, two. So that's button number one, that's button number two, which is bringing on tally number two. So the tallies will always follow the allocations of the inputs, not just the buttons. So on the ATEM, I'm just going to switch uh, up and down here. You hear the relays clicking, and as I do that, um, you can see the tallies are changing. So these tallies actually are following the ATEM. They're not following um, the button, whatever buttons you're pushing on the um, on the uh, RMC control panel. So they're a true reflection of what is actually on tally and not um, not um, just determining it from the, the panel. So they're 100% accurate. Um, that's very quick. I'm sure that the reading uh, once I do the manual on this. Um, will give you a bit more information. Incidentally, I didn't show you preview tallies, and here you can see preview tallies going on here as well. And it's button number five, which hasn't hasn't got a tally allocated to it. But um, here's all the other ones. And of course, if I go to button black, which is now allocated to the input one, the computer, you see the tally lights on there too. So um, if you're interested in uh, well, if you want to buy one of these, contact me. If you're interested in also getting the tally box, contact me as well. And um, see you in the next video, which should be how to use um, the still store directly using the program in preview rows. Let's get a bit of focus there. And, and now I'm signing off.